halftime report where let's talk about uh, one of the stocks uh, which is rising right now in a market that's very quiet which is Loris Labs. It has increased its stake in a cell and gene therapy company called ImmunoAct. Uh, let's find out more about that. Uh, Ekta is joining in with the deal fine prints and the key takeaways from the management conversation that we had earlier. Ekta, over to you. Thanks for that. Well, yes, uh, definitely an interesting development which is coming for Lor Loris Labs. They are going to be increasing stake in a cell and gene therapy company, ImmunoAct. So they will be acquiring an additional 7.24% stake in the company for around 80 odd crores. Remember that they had already invested in the company in November 2021. And now with this current transaction, they will be holding around 33.86% stake. Now, what exactly does the company do? ImmunoAct was founded in 2018. It is a company which is focusing on one of the latest technologies, which is CAR T therapy when it comes to cancer. This is for specific types of blood cancer, which is currently in clinical trials. So they do not have a drug that they are selling at this point in time. They just have R&D investments going into the company. As of now, uh, like I mentioned, they do not have a drug on of, of itself. The commercial stage of ImmunoAct is expected to probably happen in FY25. Remember that, uh, you know, uh, the drug will go through various phases. And if in case it is successful and gets the DCGI nod, which is the Indian regulator nod, only then will it be launched as a novel CAR T therapy drug in the Indian market. So it is a high gestation uh, sort of investment. It is also a high risk investment as it is for any R&D firm. Now, the company has graduated from phase one to phase two, and the valuations as per the company have gone up in the last one and a half years to around 820 odd crores. The fund infusion is expect to, expected to fast track any additional supply for the lead candidate, for the expansion of multi-location GMP or good manufacturing facilities for the manufacture of the drug if in, eventually it does get approval and investment aided in creating another facility as well. The company says they expect the company to be probably profitable as an investment uh, going forward. So let's see. It is, like I mentioned, something that we can expect in the future. But the street seems to be bullish on the prospects of gene therapy and CAR T therapy. All right, Ekta. Thanks a lot for that. So uh, the street seems uh, positive on the prospects of this new therapy with regards to genealogy, etc. Stock up at uh, the high point of trade. We take a short break, uh, shift focus away.